Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 11th of 2019. Well, it is titled N63A supernova remnant invisible and x ray. So what do we see here? Well, looking off in the direction of the large Magellanic cloud, a small satellite galaxy of our own Milky Way, we see an example of a supernova remnant and the supernova remnant has the catalog designation of N 63 a now a supernova occurs when a star explodes. So at the end of a life of a massive star as an example, the star can become unstable and in fact builds up iron in its core. And iron is the uh, element that you cannot get any energy out of by either fusing iron atoms together or by splitting them apart. We can get energy by fusing light atoms into heavier atoms like hydrogen into helium or by splitting apart heavier elements like uranium or plutonium. However, iron is at the peak of peak of this and cannot get energy going either direction. So when a star builds up a core of iron, it becomes unstable and the entire core collapses and the star collapses downward under gravity and then explodes back outward as it rebounds off the uh, star that has compressed at the very center. And those outer layers are then expelled out into space as we see here again in a combination image, which uses both visible light and x rays. Now x rays are emitted because of the intense energy of a supernova explosion. Supernovae are some of the most energetic events we can possibly imagine. And when a supernova occurs in a distant galaxy, it can outshine the entire galaxy. That is how much energy is being produced. You would also not want to be nearby when a supernova goes off. A supernova occurring within 50 or so light years of a, another uh, planet would actually be able to wipe out life on that planet. So a supernova within that distance of Earth, uh, certainly within 50 light years would be able to wipe out life and with even in, within even 100 light years could cause significant extinction events. So it is not something you want going off nearby. Of course, we are fortunate with our point in the Milky Way galaxy that there are no supernovae within that distance. So there are no stars that could go supernovae within that distance. So it's not something that is likely to happen to us here on Earth. But while they can be dangerous like that, they are also very important because this is where a lot of the heavier elements that make up our bodies come from. So things like carbon and iron are actually produced in the supernova and then expelled back out into space. And we see in the image here uh, a lot of the various regions of air and various uh, shock waves from the material. And that then compresses other material and forms new stars that are now enriched in these heavier elements. So the fact that there are supernovae actually allow life to be able to form because without them we wouldn't have things that make up the earth like silicon and uh, iron and we wouldn't have the elements that make up our bodies things like the carbon that make up a lot of the mo uh, molecules within our body. So without supernovae, these would not exist and would not be expelled back out into the universe so that later generations of stars like our sun would be able to form planets like our Earth that are able to support life. So that was our picture of the day for December the 11th of 2019. It was titled N63A Supernova Remnant Invisible and X-Ray. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.